like they'll say you know, you come to a lot of the same conclusions, but it's like you'll like fight with them, and it's just funny because it's the most of the time when you're helping people, it's going to be with an eighth house issue. So, you know, if you're experiencing the eighth house, it's usually a problem that you are currently having. So you're going to be experiencing this as, you know, maybe someone is trying to give you advice or, you know, they're... So, I don't know, it's just a funny little, you know, dynamic that it happens to be that way, but that's the case. So, like, when you're in a... It's like... When you're an issue, when people say it's like you flip your, um, to your fourth house, that's, or, you know, you flip, like if you're an INTP, it says like when you're in stress, you flip to like being like an ESFJ. Um, it's really more accurate to say you flip to being like an INTJ, but your complaints are ESFJ-ish. Um, because those are the things that you're trying to get resolved. Um, and then also, when you put those two together, you get, you land in the 12th house, because, like, when you mix two energies, it meets in the middle. So... So yeah, um, it's going to end up working out like that. So, there's someone pulling up behind me, it's got me distracted <clears throat> a little bit. All right, so. Um, so yeah, for me, Sagittarius is there, so, like, my experiences and, like, my teaching and, like, you know, purpose, it's, like, basically what happens is someone asks me a question. And I'm sure, like, INTPs can relate. Like, someone asks you a question, you give them the answer, but they don't like it. Um, like, even though it's it might be true, um, it's not necessarily, you know, butterflies and rainbows and, um, which, I guess it wouldn't be all INTPs, but at least the Taurus Risings. Um, in this case, to have the exact experience, but, like, I guess you could relate with the, the INTJ quality. Like, yeah, this is the factual, um, this is the data, this is what, you know, concretely in the world, this is what happens when you do things in this way. And then people might not, you know, like that. So... You know, for me, it plays out in the case of, like, advice because Sagittarius is teaching and, like, you know, higher education or whatever. And, you know, that's kind of just why, you know, I started this video the way I did. And, you know, it's just kind of like, hey, this is how it works. Um, I'm sorry if it doesn't fit into your agenda of what you're trying to do. But, like, it does fit into your agenda. You just have to figure out how once you learn how it works. But it, you may have to change how you go about implementing. Uh, or, or you may have to change your strategy to fit the reality <clears throat> of the situation. And that's how I end up being the outcast in all these situations. Because, like, I say the truth... And that doesn't always, you know, that doesn't really fit with, it doesn't mean it fits in a, um, a nice little